Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Speak and Mom Scraps and I'm just showing you the two sequin mixes that I'm going to be using. They are both older sequin mixes. So I have the Strawberry Patch and then the Lemonade Stand sequin mixes. These are, I want to say last summer uh, sequin mixes, um, but they went so well with the papers that I was using that uh, I couldn't resist pulling them out and getting some more on my pages. The Lemon Stand one actually has lemon uh, kind of clay pieces in it so it was definitely the perfect one for this particular page. I am using my um, kit from Color Rush Studio for uh, this was their June kit um, and it had this beautiful uh, lemon paper so I pulled out uh, that pattern paper. I cut out the center so that I would have that larger square of the lemon paper I and then I cut uh, what I had left into that triangle that I'm going to use on this page and then I had a scrap of this floral and red polka dotted paper so I'm going to go ahead and build my background so I kind of laid everything out how I sort of was seeing it in my head and I knew I had that open white space at the top um, of the white cardstock that I'm using so I pulled out this um, it's supposed to be like a brick wall or a, like a plastered type wall, um, very uneven. Um, and so I decided to pull out some ink. I'm using, I can't remember what this one was called. If you want to know the name, um, it is a um, Catherine Pooler ink. <laughs> I forgot what, what kind of ink it was, um, but I just pulled out, this is like a, a buttery yellow color, but it's very light. Um, so I'm just putting some ink through uh, this stencil, adding it to my background. This just gives uh, that white cardstock a little bit of color so it's not just stark. Um, to me it definitely um, makes the page so that it doesn't uh, look too plain. Um, if I just left it white I think it would have been uh, pretty boring um, and so I really like the look of this. Uh, once I had that done, I did pull out some Heidi Swap Color Shine, and I want to say this is the color Butter. Yeah, Butter. And so I'm just going to add some splatters, because again, uh, more is more. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do, um, adding those splatters. And then once I get this done, I am going to, um, I don't remember if I do it on camera. I think I go off camera, and I map my photo, and I get my background down. Yeah. I was pretty sure that's what I did so you didn't have to watch that sort of process of gluing and sticking everything. Um, so there you see I've got my layout down. I did use some of that ribbon along the seam where that triangle met the white paper and I really love the look of that. It's just that added texture that um, is just so fun on pages. Um, now I'm just taking all of the elements that I pulled from my kit and obviously you can tell I'm going with the lemon theme. Um, so I pulled all of the different pieces and um, ephemera pieces. Some are cut from some pattern paper element sheets. Um, so everything lemon um, and I'm going with the title of So Sweet uh, for my photo. Uh, this is like a berry dessert and the actual loaf that we're using with the berry dessert was a lemon loaf so I thought it was very fitting to go ahead and use that for this page. So once I had my sort of embellishment clusters down um, I did go ahead off camera and glue those down and then I'm just going to come in with these hearts and these cute little ladybugs. Couldn't resist those. They matched the colors that I was going with. I was trying to stick to the yellow and red sort of theme so I pulled out those ladybugs and I think they are adorable. Um, so they're going to complete my sort of a little embellishment clusters and then once those are down then is going to come in the fun part with the sequins and that is really going to dress up this page and I really love how this one turned out. I always have a hard time with these sort of fruit pages like these um, pattern papers with all the lemons like I know Maggie Holmes would do a lot of these and I have the hardest time using them. Um, and so I went literal, obviously, with this page and <laughs> went, okay, I'm having a berry dessert. I'm going to use this paper because when else am I going to use it? Um, and I really love how it turned out. Uh, so I actually, I think this would be great for like popsicles or lemonades in the summer if you really want to stay on the like 
themed layout. Um, but again, I think you could use it for any summer um, layouts, honestly. Lemons and summer just kind of, it just screams like outside playing, having fun in the sun kind of uh, feel. So definitely this paper just makes me happy. This whole layout makes me happy. I think these colors are really fun together. So yeah, I really loved how this one came together. So with my sequins, I did decide to take um, and do some butterfly trails with some of the yellow sequins. So I really love how that looks. Um, and then the red uh, sequins, I did just decide to do little um, dots of three in a couple of spots on each embellishment cluster. And that just gave, again, that little extra pop of color and a little extra sparkle to the page. I think that's what's great about sequins is they really just make your pages pop. They have that perfect little sparkle and little touch that just finishes off a page. So I'm just going to go ahead here and add, like I said, the, the three little dots. Um, I'm like fussing around trying to figure out where I'm going to put the three dots, but eventually <laughs> I do get them down and it's like, a, it's very subtle, but um, I really love how it turns out. So in the, uh, as soon as I get these down, that's pretty much going to do it for this page. I will have still photos that are going to come up here in just a moment. Um, but as I was going, I had forgotten, like I had said earlier, this had little clay pieces of lemons. So I had to, of course, in amongst some of the lemons on the embellishment clusters, I had to take some of these clay lemon pieces and put them with the lemons because it couldn't be more perfect. Like if you actually have this set and you get this linen uh, market collection from Simple Stories, it is, it complements it perfectly. Like I can't, I almost want to have more of it just to use more of these sequins. I. I'm going to have to do another lemon layout because it's so perfect. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this page. So I'll have in the description box below a link to Speak of Mom Scraps. You can always use Vanessa 15, save yourself a little bit on some sequins. Um, and with that, guys, here are the still photos and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.